In this lesson we are going to look at why f of x's connection mechanism is a better choice than the old OLE system. First we'll look at OLE, the old way. Long time f of x users will know that with OLE we add a tab to your toolbar in Word. If you click on the tab we can choose something to insert. We'll insert a floating fx graph. Push the button fx graph loads up and we'll add a function, let's make it x squared, push the green tick and it will return to Word. To edit our graphic we double click. We can change the graph by say adding an integral, click on the green tick and we return the new graphic to Word. OLE has some major benefits. It's convenient and familiar and the graphic is stored as part of the document. It's also very easy to insert and edit graphics later. There are some problems though. There are limits on what we can draw to the graphic including no transparent backgrounds. It can be slow to use on some computers but most importantly it is not always robust and we have seen situations where data is lost and it's not available on Mac computers. Next we'll look at the new connections technology. We'll look at it on Windows but it works exactly the same way on the Mac. We haven't installed OLE so if we go to the f of x tab you'll notice that fx graph is no longer listed. We have to access fx graph a different way to use connections. We go to the start menu, find fx graph 5 then we go to the connections button. If I hover over it it says I'm going to connect with Word but we can have a look at other options but we will connect with Word. As soon as we do that notice that the FX graph file name is based on the Word file name. We'll create a graph x squared, add an integral and this time we'll add an annotation click on the green tick and my graphs back in Word. To add a graph we go back to FX graph and this time we push the add graph to file button. We'll get a new set of axes, we'll create a cubic, the green tick takes us back into Word. We'll do one more back into graph, add another graph to file and this time we'll add a sine curve. Green tick, oh, we'll change the size first, green tick and we're back in Word. Now we'll edit a graph. To edit we have to first copy the graph to the clipboard. Now when we change over to FX Graph 5, FX Graph 5 will automatically find the right graph in its file. If I try the cubic, select, copy, change to Graph 5 and there's the cubic. We'll change something about this one, we'll change it to red. Green tick and the graph is replaced in my document. Finally we'll copy the sine curve over to graph 5. Graph 5 will find the right curve. Uh, we'll add a secant line. and an annotation. Click on the green tick and it's back in Word. Connections do have some small problems. They are obviously new and unfamiliar. The main problem however is that graphics are stored in a separate file. The file is automatically created and managed and it's only really an issue if you wish to move 
graphics to another computer. That extra file has to go with the document file. Connections do have some major benefits. They are fast and robust. We can have those transparent backgrounds, but most importantly, it's a cross-platform solution and we can move files between Mac and Windows computers editing as we go.